I swear, Galaxy Print is following me everywhere now. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Today is the last video of 2023. Oh my goodness. As I do at the end of every year, I am going to be trying to thrift the new year's trends. So basically what 2024 projected trends are. And I actually did make a video going through all the 2024 fashion trends that I like and don't like. So I will have that linked because usually in these videos, I will go through all of the trends, but I already did that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find as many 2024 fashion trends today. And I love doing these types of videos to show that, you know, most fashion trends have already happened. So they are most likely at the thrift store and trying to find a trend secondhand first. And of course, you know, wear whatever makes you happy, whether it's a trend or not. I more look at trends as like inspiration. And I am also at a new thrift store, not only a new thrift store that I've never shown in a video, but also an actually new thrift store. I am at the Savers in Lakewood, which I'm pretty sure only opened two weeks ago and i had the honor of actually checking out the thrift store a couple days before it had opened i stupidly did not bring my camera and so i just had done some videos and photos on my phone if you follow me on instagram which is alex 83 then you've already seen that but i really wanted to come back and film a proper video and i figured this was kind of the the best video to to do it with because when i was here like the gems it was so, so good. Let's finally head in because I've, I I talk so much in my intros, I'm so sorry. Guys, it's even better that I remember. It is just so big. And also they painted the walls white, which like for filming, life-changing. I think I'm gonna go into the jeans actually. First, I am wearing a skirt so I can take off my pants to try on some jeans because baggy jeans that go over my shoes was like such a big thing on my thrift wish list and also like 2024 fashion trend for me personally so let's head over there okay I couldn't help it I had to stop over in the lingerie section because actually when I originally came I was quite overwhelmed by just like how big it was and then also there were other thrifters that were invited as well so I was socializing which is a big deal for for me but yeah I was feeling quite overwhelmed with that and I did not touch the lingerie section at all but Danielle she had filmed a video when we were all here and she found such cute lingerie and I was so mad at myself that I didn't like properly look through it so I'm just looking through it before we go into the jeans I don't think there's honestly anything super like that I feel like I would need and obviously wasn't necessarily on the like trends list. Typically this is some animal print. Um, not really exactly what I'm looking for for that trend, but technically that is there. They had this really pretty purple slip, but it's just way, way too short for me. Okay, for a second, I am gonna try the mic on my shirt. Let me know how the audio is because so many people get so angry about the little mic in my hand. I really don't mind it. It honestly makes me want to talk more because I don't know, it just makes me feel like a little, a little pop star, but I understand that people absolutely hate it. But my normal like big mic, it just, the audio is so, so bad. So this is like a better way to have audio with filming at the thrift store. Um, but I haven't fully tried it, like flipped onto something because I just haven't wanted to film an entire video like that and have all the footage be horrendous. I'm okay if this part is horrendous audio. So I can at least show you if it is good or not, or maybe it actually is really good audio. I don't know. Goodness, I am <laughs> talking so much, I apologize. Um, okay, this is actually kind of cute. Red was a 2024 trend, of course, but I'd already talked about it so much that it was like, y'all are sick of me talking about it. I don't know, this is giving too much pajamas. You know, I am okay with wearing pajamas and like slips that's basically underwear, but that one's like a little bit too much. Okay, it's actually a really big lingerie section. Holy moly, I did not even realize. Like there's still more racks. Also, this video is not sponsored. Probably should, should mention that, um, but yeah, Savers has no idea. I'm even making this video. Mm, it's okay. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, but not in my size. Huh, how precious. Yeah, I think that's it for my size. I don't think I've ever seen a lingerie section actually divided by size. Usually it's just all on one rack and you just kind of guess as you look at each one, but I guess I have enough to properly size it, which is awesome. When I had visited, I didn't even look at the home decor section at all, so I definitely need to, but oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this is. I wish I had enough space for it. I wish that I needed or like had the proper space for this table because this is actually like one of my dream tables. Usually I don't like a tall, like sitting, eating table, whatever. Um, but this one just looks like it's made so well. Absolutely hate the fabric on these chairs. So I would probably want to try to change that. But other than that, oh, I wish I was looking for that because I would buy that in a heartbeat. I think this is going to be the most difficult one because it's like you won't know until you try it on if it does actually fit how I would want them to fit. And also like I want it to be baggy, but I obviously want it to fit me. Oh, these, no, I just feel like it's so hard for the leg. Like that is too like straight of a leg. I want a wide leg, but not a flare. Yeah. I may have to just check in the men's section. I've never had good luck with like men's jeans. I think it's just the way that my body is shaped where they just fit very odd. But maybe if I found the right one, I don't know. I'm open, I'm open. I'm just seeing a lot of like straight leg jeans, mom jeans, which is awesome. I love, love those kinds of jeans, but it's not what I'm looking for today. So this will probably be a long, a long journey of trying to find these types of jeans secondhand. Oh wow, we got some Everlane jeans. Fancy. I am also kind of looking for a mid-rise too, so not a high-rise, which just adds, you know, of course, more things. Ooh, we got some overalls. I don't need them, but very nice. Ooh, okay, another thing I totally forgot to mention is I low-key want some camo. I don't remember what video I talked about camo, but I talked about camo and I'm kind of having my eye out. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't include it as a 2024 fashion trend because I've seen so many people rock camo lately and I definitely think it's gonna like, I don't know, be more popular among mainstream or whatever um, in 2024, but we got some camo. These are skinny jeans, so I'm gonna leave them. Some galaxy print jeans. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Honestly, like it's kind of growing on me kind of growing on me. We did not have any luck in the women's jeans, so I will be going over to the men's, but the cardigans were right here. So I just needed to go into them now. I really want to find, again, a cardigan with a collar. That would be absolutely amazing. This is actually the first thrifting video that I'm filming since doing my Thriftmas series, which if you didn't know, I did six days of Thriftmas where I thrifted for somebody different every single day leading up to Christmas. And thank you so much for all the love on those videos. Truly, it means so, so much. It was such a good time, not only like thrifting for everyone, doing like little thrifted mystery boxes, but also like filming with them. And yeah, it it was so much fun and it's wild that I started planning it at the end of October and now I've uploaded it, I've done it, it's gone live and now until next Christmas that maybe we will see it uh, again. But I will say I very much um, started getting a little burnt out on thrifting because I was thrifting so much um, just because to find everything on someone's thrift wish list at one thrift store just like was not going to happen and so yeah i thrifted a lot in november so this is my first one back thrifting for myself <laughs> i technically did find a cardigan with a collar it's not really the color and like the fit and the material i'm looking for so i am gonna leave it i am finding some cardigans with collars but again nothing that's like i'm gravitating towards i did find 
two sweaters. Well, one of them is a cardigan, just not the collared cardigan. And then the other is just like a really fun cardigan. I just couldn't help it, okay? With these videos, we have, you know, a plan, but we can deviate from the plan if needed. Oh, this little sweater is so cute. It's a Disney Minnie Mouse sweater. Very adorable. I've never seen anything like that. I did find technically like a ribbed collar top, which isn't a cardigan, but you'll see when I go through my cart. Now I am gonna go to the pants because I completely forgot to go into just the normal pants to look to see if they had animal print pants. Also, I am finding so much animal print, like so much animal print. Definitely something you can thrift, but of course I got sidetracked into the tops i just i had to i feel like every year i buy a red turtleneck and then for some reason i never wear it but if there's one thing that 2023 taught me is i like the color red um so i feel like i would actually wear it but i don't know if i should get a fitted turtleneck or maybe more of a loose turtleneck i think this one's a little bit too small so i'm gonna leave it i would really like to find the animal print pants just to like find them but I did actually get some leopard print jeans off of Poshmark so technically I've already bought this trend secondhand that you will see in a future thrift haul like collective thrift haul so I'm not as like I need to find this today because I already have it but I just want to show just want to show that you could find it okay these technically are not jeans they're more like legging material but yeah they're basically straight up like jeggings which honestly it could be cute with like a black long sweater or something we are then perfectly by the men's jeans so let's just let's just see what there is i'm just always so confused by like jean sizes for men i think it's like the number is based on like because usually it's a mid-rise, so would that be more like my hip measurement? I think that's why also even like mid-rise and like low-rise, I don't think I could get the measurements right because I'm just so used to knowing my waist measurement for jeans. And I know the other measurements, but I'm like focusing on that to figure out if something's gonna fit me. Um, I'll try these on. Okay, you can't see it, but there's this like skeleton man thing right there and it keeps scaring me so bad i keep thinking it's a person okay i'm not seeing anything they seem all more kind of like straight legs so i think i think we're done with the jeans after the jeans i decided to go into the rest of the men's section and i just went through mo i didn't look at every single t-shirt um but I was about to say, they actually have some really good stuff. Probably the, I mean, this could be good depending on your personal preference, um, but I didn't mean to grab that. But I've actually found some like good t-shirts, nothing that I'm like overly obsessed with, but no Spirit Day t-shirts, which usually at most of the stores, that's all I have are Spirit Day t-shirts and like family t-shirts. Um, I found a Pedro Pascal t-shirt. I did not watch This Is Us or not, oh my God. The Last of Us? Oh, how embarrassing. John did and he loved it, but I did not. So I feel like a fake fan if I bought a Pedro Pascal t-shirt. Anyway, yeah, I'm just continuing to kind of go through it. made my way now to the women's tops and I did realize I forgot to mention I got bangs. I technically did mention it in Wednesday's video with a photo. This is the first video I have them in and like it's interesting because sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like oh my god that was the, like I look amazing and the other times I'm like does something look off? I'm not sure. I think I am more liking them than not liking them. I just feel like they really go like with my hair and especially like 
all this is my virgin hair like my roots have grown since the horrific uh, bleach fail of 2022 and so like it's so healthy and I just really like the contrast and the way that it frames my face so I do like them I do I do like them <laughs> it does make me feel like I have a brand new look a brand new look to like style and kind of great for the new year as well because it's like it's not that big of a difference but it's something that makes me feel a little bit like oh it's like a glow up and i do feel then like clothing will look differently kind of but it also gives a different vibe too so like it gives a different like look with all my clothing than it did without them or maybe i'm thinking that way and that is that is not correct but it makes me almost like be more excited to style clothing because I feel like I have the new look. I'm really just running through every section at this point, but this Tweety Bird is so cool. I just wish it was a little bit looser, but I'm really in love with that. That's so fun. I realize I haven't gone through the skirts yet. Technically, there was only one skirt that was on like the 2024 fashion trends list, which is the gray pleated skirt. If I did find it, I don't think, I don't know. The more I would then was looking at it, I was like, wait, actually could be cute with like a graphic tee because I don't wear gray very often, but I just, I just don't know. So if they did have something, I tried it on at least. I kind of liked this tiered one, but it's not my size and I don't think I would actually wear it that often. They have a knitted maxi gray skirt but not pleated Ooh, we have a fruit skirt not really like the type of skirt i love but love the fruit okay i don't see too many really any maxis just this one right now this one's like a completely sheer black maxi i didn't talk about sheer clothing just because it's been a trend for the past couple years and I honestly like the stuff that I have thrifted that was sheer I never ended up wearing so for me it's a no no thrifting anything sheer <laughs> the skinum skirt's kind of cute seems a little bit thin though so I'm gonna leave it so we got some got some sequins very fun what are you all doing for new year's I never do anything for new year's growing up we always like it was a family day and so doing anything for new year's like i could never see friends on new year's or i it was just it was a family day and so now like growing up i also don't like to stay up that late so i usually end up falling like actively purposely going to sleep before it is midnight just because i don't want to ruin my sleep schedule like that's not going to start off the year off right for me <laughs> probably just be hanging out with john and the kitties and going to bed at 10 p.m. If this was made a little bit better, it's like um, a suspender skirt, plaid skirt, has like really cool big buttons, but the actual strap like feels not, it feels like swimsuit material. So I don't know. I just don't think it's made that well, but concept. And if it was made a little bit better, possibly. I did find an animal print skirt. Oh my goodness. This one is pleated and it's not that like satin, well, silk looking material. Like I had mentioned kind of recently of wanting to find like an animal print skirt like that again, because they were like, they became outdated and everyone was like, Ugh. and so I said goodbye to mine for some reason. So I want to, I want to get back into it. So this isn't exactly the same, but I'm going to try it on at least. I didn't film in the dresses just because there honestly really wasn't anything that I was loving, but there also wasn't anything on my like wish list right now. It's a dress. So yeah, I just didn't film it. Anyway, I wanted to go through the pants and dress suits. So sometimes thrift stores will have like sets in a separate section and just see if I can find a short suit set. Like I had mentioned in Wednesday's video, seeing a lot of skirts, which obviously makes sense. You could like thrift flip one, like make it, I don't, I don't know how to do that, don't ask me, but I'm sure you can make like a suit with a skirt into shorts. Eh, I don't know. I feel like it's better as a skirt or like pants. I'm still not sure about this one. I'm just not sure. Ooh, a little checkered set. It's kind of me. Uh, I don't really like the pants. Kind of like loose capris, and I don't think this is my size too. But a like checkered capri. I'd be open to that. I'd be open. They do not have a capri section, 
a, hmm, I would say a lot of the thrift stores I go to do have like, maybe just one thrift store actually, has somehow a lot of capris to where they can have an entire capri section, but this one, they don't. I have absolutely nowhere to put these, but I want them so bad. Oh my God, look at that. You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay, that's one. I mean, they are $20. This saver is definitely is, it's actually kind of mixed. I keep finding stuff that is then a lot less than other savers would be, but then stuff like this that it's like $20, $20 each. Like if it was 10 and 10, I probably would get it, but $40 for, I mean, if I had room and I had a 20% off discount, maybe, but no. I'm hoping this corner will be okay to try on some stuff. It's really quite busy and like there's no empty pockets really. So I'm gonna try my best with right here to show everything, but we'll see. If I change locations, it's because too many people are around. The first thing I think I am gonna leave, I'm just not like, I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it. It's by guess, it's this gray kind of ribbed top. I do, here's the thing. I feel like if I tried it on, I'd be like, okay, yeah, like that's cute. But am I obsessed with it? No, I'm not obsessed with it. So we will put it back. This was another piece that I thought maybe I'd be more obsessed with, but now that it's been kind of sitting in my cart, it's just okay. Like I can put a collar under a crew neck that I already own, you know? And also I don't really like the collar material. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a stiffer material. I did find this. This like, ooh, plum? I never wear plum. Is plum my color? I do not know. I may have to take it over to the mirror. I'm not gonna, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not gonna put a turtleneck on. Don't make me do that. I have bangs now, okay? I don't know if you'll be able to truly like understand why I have this in my cart. Um, it's the buttons. It's really just the buttons. If you saw my thrifting video where I thrifted for Lainey, there were a couple jackets with these massive buttons and I fell in love with it. I don't like this, maybe because it is like a ribbed, almost sweater material. It To have these big buttons, it needs to have structure. And so as like a cardigan with big buttons, it's just really, just really not doing it. Oh my goodness, I swear, Galaxy Print is following me everywhere now. <laughs> I think I am obsessed with this little crop sweater. Like this is so cozy. I really like it. I chose the worst day to wear black because I feel like you can't even really see anything. Okay, maybe I'll take it off because I feel like you can't see this. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see it better because you can see how it's kind of like this lace. It really reminds me of this purple like little cardigan I had gotten at the Rose Bowl in September, I think, or August or October. Honestly, I went to the Rose Bowl three months in a row. I can't believe I did that. Kind of reminds me of that. I don't know. I think I need to take it over to the mirror because it's like, I don't want to buy it just because I'm like, oh, all the layering options. And because that one's like purple and so it adds something different. Whereas this one's black. So like, what is it going to add to anything? Because I wear a lot of black already, you know? I put this in my cart because it is comfy and fuzzy. I do wish I had a better design. And so I'm like, do I wait? Cause I'm sure I can find something similar to this again at the thrift store. Should I wait to thrift something that is this material, but with a better pattern or just like get this and then get if I find a better one. Cause what if I don't find a better one? But is this one even good? It's not for stylish reasons, okay? It's for comfy, cozy reasons. I found a gray skirt. Oh my gosh. And like, why do I kind of like it? Especially with my red socks. I did get these red socks from Lisa Says Ga after being influenced by Carrie and like they're kind of cute. I may I'm gonna have to look at the footage because honestly I can't see. I do not have my glasses on, I do not have my contacts, so I'm really just a blob right now. But like the blob looks good, so this one's actually a maybe. Right, it's definitely really wobbly. Sorry. All this footage is gonna be crooked, okay? Just deal with it. Try filming yourself at the thrift store by yourself, okay? So this plaid skirt, not part of the trends, but I did think it was interesting. I don't like this. I just, I hate when skirts have that. I mean, but would I, maybe I would wear something on, like over that. I just wish it had the pleats there. But if it's like that, that's kind of cute. I actually love how long it is. Like that's really long. I don't know. <laughs> Funny enough, I wanted the pleats on the other skirt, don't want the pleats on here. I feel like the pleats are kind of annoying me with this one. I feel like I'm fine with leaving this one. Yeah, the jeans, the jeans were so close. They're just way, way too short. I'm just not even gonna button them because I know that like, 
they're too short. But literally so, like, the width of it would have been perfect. Hmm. Okay. I am not entirely sure yet what I'm going to end up getting. So I'm going to put everything back that I know is a no where I got it and then decide what I'm going to get and then check out. Alrighty, I did end up getting that plaid skirt. I was really, really conflicted, but then another customer was like, you should totally get that. That is so, so cute. And I don't think people understand at the thrift store, if you tell someone that they look cute with an item that they're holding up or trying on in front of the mirror, they will buy it. You you have so, so much power. Like, because she said that, I was like, well, now I have to get it. It has been a couple of days. I washed everything and I think I'm going to start off with the one piece that technically I thrifted that is a like projected 2024 fashion trend and that is the gray maxi skirt and i said specifically a gray pleated skirt but i think even just like a gray skirt like this such a surprise such a surprise i talked some like mad smack <laughs> in that video about the gray maxi skirt honestly it's not that i absolutely hate the color gray it just isn't a color i like go out of my way to find i have pieces that are gray and they're great but i just wouldn't say it's my favorite color but i think that's why i actually kind of liked this is because it's not a color I usually wear. I tried it on and I I was very, very surprised that I really liked it. It's originally from the brand Sisley, S-I-S-L-E-Y. I did actually have a 20% off discount because of like the point system. So I did get 20% off everything and if you all remember like a couple of months ago i talked about how savers had gifted me a gift card and i had some money left on one of the gift cards and for some reason it said that it was expired which like a gift card expiring so i had reached out to them they were trying to figure it out it was a lot of back and forth and finally i got a replacement so i did also use that replacement $50 savers gift card. But with the discount, this skirt ended up being $7.20, which it's made like so well. And it doesn't feel too structured as well. Like, yes, it's made out of wool, but it has a lot of movement in it. Like it's not stiff. I am so excited about this sweater. Like it is just everything I love and so much more. It actually, I'm pretty sure was a like thrift flip DIY because it is a crop sweater now and it has the tag the vintage twin which is a vintage online store it's just so cozy and I think will look really good even with the skirt that I was wearing that denim maxi skirt I thought that with this was just so so cute I love the pattern and the colors it is slightly itchy but really not bad at all and I also was thinking about pairing it with the next piece under this beautiful plum dark purple turtleneck it's a ribbed turtleneck and i just i mean the colors don't go like that well together but i think the only thing is like the sweater is cropped so i don't know like how it would actually look but i mean i can wear the sweater by itself and not feel like incredibly uncomfortable like it's not that amount of itchiness but i think it would also look amazing with like a little turtleneck under this is not doing it justice like whatsoever but hopefully you understand the vision <laughs> this turtleneck doesn't have a tag on it but i ended up getting it for six dollars and 39 cents and it's just a nice ribbed turtleneck not too much to say about it, honestly. I mean, I can pair this under everything and anything else I own as well. And then, like I said, I got the plaid skirt. This one with the discount ended up being $7.19. It's originally from 35th and 10th. I'm pretty sure that's like a proper school uniform company. Um, I actually had gone to a private school for kindergarten or like because I ended up getting like held back it was very weird I went to public school then private then back to public but anyway I had done kindergarten and like half of first grade at a private school and our uniforms were khaki like tan khaki so that's why I feel like I can't wear khaki or even polos because they're they were also having us wear polos and so i definitely understand when people are like this just reminds me of my school uniform and so like you cannot wear it totally totally get that but we were not allowed to wear 
plaid skirts like this. So for me, I, uh, I don't have that association. <laughs> that was everything I picked up from the thrift store. I can't believe this was also my last thrift trip of 2023. I feel like I ended it off with like a successful <laughs> thrift trip. Like all these pieces, I feel like I have a purpose of why I thrifted them and I'm really excited to style them. Thank you all so much for not only watching this video, but any of my videos in 2023. I just like truly appreciate each one of you and Thank you for even letting me have this job every year. I'm like, how am I so, so lucky? I just appreciate you all and just making videos that bring you some sort of happiness. And if you are not already following me and you want to see my face again and see what I have brewing up for 2024 videos, uh, then you can hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandjane83. I hope you all have a great New Year's, a safe New Year's, whatever you are doing or not doing. If you're going to be hanging out with your cats, like me. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>